So a healthy autonomic nervous system for good health, how do we do that? And simply put, you know, normally I would say to you, oh, you know, you take time for relaxation, lifestyle, you would, you know, take a break, take some exercise, go for a walk, you know, do something that basically calms the whole nervous system, do some exercise. Yeah. But again, lifestyle today is that people are not making time for many of these activities that will calm them down. And people are working too much. And again, even with the, with the advent of the digital age, if you think about it, okay, you're on alert all of the time. Because you're actually waiting yeah, for a notification from an app, or your phone, or your email, or WhatsApp. So your body is on high alert 24-7. That's not an exaggeration. That is not a formula or a recipe for good health. So just, you know, in the context of modern living, we are on alert 24-7. And really, what, one of the main things that we need to do is, is actually understand the disruption that's happening and that with, with this constant stress, yeah, that you are setting the body up for degeneration and cellular damage and illness. So the lifestyle that we're leading with, the, with, with, with all the technology that we're hooked up to and connected to, yeah, we are constantly stressed and the body is not getting that opportunity yeah, to reset, to recalibrate and ultimately repair. So <clears throat> interestingly enough, we have some studies showing yeah, <clears throat> that heart attacks are connected to the, this overactive nervous system, that when the sympathetic nervous system is overstimulated and is very activated or overactivated, that they've noticed that that can contribute to heart attack. Stress, again, you know, everyone knows that, that stress and heart attacks are related, but we're kind of uh, focusing in here and saying, you know, the overactive, you know, sympathetic nervous system is connected, and research has shown this that it's connected and related to heart failure. So again, be clear, <clears throat> you know, we're, we're talking about unrelenting stress. It can result in a heart attack, just as, a, as the epitome of this damage and degeneration that's happening in the body. The body, you know, for the body to get to that point where the heart just, you know, stops, that's, that's the way that we're living. <clears throat> so one of the crucial things that fire infrared can help with <clears throat> is actually resetting the nervous system and calming the body down. Yeah? Reducing the activity of the sympathetic nervous system, which is basically the body has been locked into sympathetic nervous activity. Okay? That nervous system is, is, that aspect of the nervous system is overactive, working hard all of the time. It doesn't switch off. Potentially it can result in heart attack and degeneration and cell damage. So the far infrared light therapy, if it, when you try the far infrared light therapy, or all your clients try the far infrared light therapy, within minutes they will notice that they calm down and very commonly they'll, they'll fall asleep. And that's because people are so stressed all of the time, the moment you give the body a little relaxation and you, and you basically reduce the activity of the nervous system, boom, people are asleep. And you'll see that within minutes that can happen. And you know, recreating that calmness and triggering that calmness is essential for repair and for recovery and to accelerate the whole recovery process. So relaxation through far infrared treatment is an essential element of the treatment to get the body into repairing and healing mode. Okay, and again, people are not thinking about this, but I'm emphasizing this because it is something that is absolutely vital given lifestyle today. We are not calming down. And the element of the nervous system that calms us down is called the parasympathetic nervous system. So what we have is people are out of balance and you have the sympathetic nervous system that is working hard all of the time. That's the fight or flight mode. That's what will put the body into degeneration and cell damage. So what we're doing with the fire infrared is resetting the nervous system. Literally deactivating the sympathetic nervous system yeah, and actually activating the parasympathetic nervous system to increase calmness. When the body is calm, that's when you get repair and that's when you get cellular regeneration. 
So we hope you've enjoyed that. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about how far infrared light therapy can help you, please feel free to just click on the link below and you can download our free guide and also get access to our free video training. Anyway, thanks very much and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.